What was the mindset coming into Madison Square Garden, and what kind of statement did the Michigan Wolverines make tonight? Um, the statement was to come out there and make a statement. Um, and just come out there and um, do it for 40 minutes um, on a defensive end, on the offensive end. Offensively, execution um, was critical. And then defensively, um, as, as you guys saw, we had to limit our offensive rebounds because we were getting stops. We just had to limit offensive rebounds. So um, stops was critical, and we executed the game plan ultimately. Right Namari wins the career high for you. When's the last time you had a start like that in a game? And did, did you know it was coming, maybe? Um, it's been a minute, um, definitely since high school. Um, long journey, but I was grateful for the experience. Ultimately, it wasn't something like, you know, going there, yeah, I'm going to do this in the garden. But I was definitely excited and grateful to uh, share the court with my teammates and um, share the court with them in the garden. So um, it was an exciting experience and something I won't ever forget. Um, you know each of those guys so uh, we're just taking pieces of each of their film and putting together and you know we kind of figured out a game plan how we're going to execute and defend them and you know it worked out well uh, you know they had a game against Stony Brook you know we watched that guy into that uh, and yeah that's about it each each of them had individual films uh, each of us had a you know job to do and we did it because at the end of the day we have a job to do that's in front of us so you know, we try to just keep it within us. You know, we all we got. We don't pay attention to the outside noise. Uh, it's, it's kind of fun being an underdog, you know, coming in being doubted all the time and proving people wrong. You know, we live live for that. And, you know, to get that to get to do that every night, you know, it's pretty fun. We can do a lot of stuff with a lot of different players and a lot of different lineups because how versatile we are and how athletic we are. So, you know, it's just been fun out there to play with these group of guys and we're going to keep going. Everybody will talk, and obviously, I've done this a long time, but to me, it's about memories. You want to create memories for these young guys. So to the New York basketball uh, fans, the Michigan fans, the St. John fans, the Rick Pitino fans, whatever, whatever, that was really cool. And uh, that's a memory for, the, for these guys. And at the end of the day, that's what you're about. Right? You're really measured on your memories and your relationships. And so um, I'm delighted that they, that they could have such a good memory and in such a, you know, a terrific. You're going to get pissed, but like the second best basketball arena in the country. Because you're well aware, the Plester is the best basketball <laughs> in the building in it in America, so uh, just just a great atmosphere. Salute to, to St. John's, and uh, they, they're gonna have a, a really special year and a really special run with a Hall of Famer, just not, not just a Hall of Fame basketball coach, but a, a dear friend and uh, uh, honored that we got to compete against them tonight.